scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. This is Short Trips Week, so we're talking about Short Trips Series 5, release number 2, Little Doctors. And of course, with it being the second release, you've got something that's got the second Doctor in it, which that, just straight off, made me smile. Now, normally when you've got these stories, you've got the actor who does the narration, and then they step into their characters, so you've got two voices. Well, here you've got Fraser Hines doing a second Doctor story, so he's going to at least do his voice and that of Pat Troughton. His Zoe impression is, well, let's face it, he's doing his best. But as always, it's it's Troughton that shines through. All of these stories that we experience over this week have got moments that feel like bits of other stories from their time. It helps anchor them in the moment of history in which they're set. It has ideas, concepts that were used in that Doctor's period that allows them to be seen as real. These things can be used, seen as memes or punctums or whatever you want to call them. But basically, they're just shorthand to make you feel at home. And that works. It works remarkably well. But what's the Little Doctors about? The TARDIS brings Jamie and Zoe to a sophisticated Earth colony, Olympos. Olympos is a world of high-tech cities where the lives of the populace are controlled by an all-seeing, all-knowing supercomputer, Zeus. When the Doctor sees how the human inhabitants have been robbed of the more simple pleasures, he sets out to bring real life back to the colony. But his mental connection to Zeus has some unexpected consequences. Yes, and these unexpected consequences, I don't really want to tell you what they are. Because A, that would be a spoiler, and B, there would be a special effect that you couldn't possibly have imagined in the 60s. Which is odd, because the rest of this fe- story feels so of its time as to be practically in black and white in your head. It is very much of its time, but that's only because of the skill of the author, rather than by the quality of the visual effects. Because let's face it, it's a short story. There are no visual effects. And you also have to almost have to keep reminding yourself of this. That's how good this story is. Philip Lawrence has produced a remarkably good short story, and I, for one, will be continuing with this range. So until tomorrow, when we'll be speaking about more short trips, here's an excerpt. Be seeing you. Zoe felt the air sizzle, pop and fizz around her body. Where a moment ago there had been darkness, now particles started to dance in her vision, whirling, coalescing, forming patterns. High, pale blue walls, stacks of shiny spherical containers, banks of touchscreens. She stepped from the transmat booth. The light snapped out. Everything was bathed in the emerald glow of the emergency lighting. But then this too faded, replaced by periodic flashes of orange. Zoe noticed her breathing had become shallow and quick. To her left, hidden behind the nearest tank, something was short-circuiting. Amber sparks throwing long shadows up the smooth consoles. She lifted a communicator to her mouth and clicked a button. Hi, Zoe, came the reassuring highland tones of her friend Jamie. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast, available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audio Boom, and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise, or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. (laughs) 